Hi guys, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my 59th Fun Finds Friday. So today I have Goodwill and a couple of online purchases. I'm gonna start with my online purchases. Um, not too long ago, I was a Simply Earth affiliate. I am no longer a Simply Earth affiliate, but I do enjoy the box, so I decided to go ahead and purchase the subscription. This is how it comes. This is the big blue box that it comes in. And Simply Earth is an essential oil company uh, that you can get a subscription, a monthly subscription box to, or you can just get the simple, the oils um, only. Hey buddy. So the box comes like this. This is the subscription box you get. And then this box right here is what you get every six months free with your six months. Every six months you get it for free to make. It's like all the little extra things, you know, the oil jars. Um, this one came with coconut oil, almond oil, some regular coconut oil, solid coconut oil, as well as some beeswax and then, you know, all your little jars to make your diffuser blends and other blends and then roller balls and that kind of thing. So that's what came in here. And then this is what you'll get every other month. Not every other month, you'll get it every month, but first month you get that box as well for free okay so and then your box comes like this oh goodness if I can open it this is a nice solid sturdy box and it comes with six recipes the stickers to go on your bottles um, and this month's oil is coffee that's a good one really good one it smells amazing and then a veins blend what's in the veins blend it is Cypress, juniper berry, and lemon essential oil, fur needle, and then frankincense. And then it also came with rose hydrosol, as well as French green clay. Those are the little add-ons in the box. Let's see what recipes does it make. It makes the veins sugar scrub. Oh my goodness, he's being so loud. <laughs> Skin healing body butter clay and rose face mask rose in the rose hydrosol bath as well as the espresso diffuser blend you guys i'm gonna make my house smell like a coffee shop i am excited about that and then the alert roll-on that sounds amazing as well so and this box is 39 dollars a month um and then with my coupon code that still works, it's um, you'll get a $40 gift card so you, uh, for your next purchase, so your second box will be free, or you can just get a bunch of add-ons. I actually used my own code, and I'm, I'm adding a lang a lang ylang -a -lang, and what is the other one I added in? Thyme oil, I think, because I don't have thyme, and I love lavender and thyme together, So and I have lots of lavender, so... Um, yeah, so I decided to go ahead and resubscribe to that. And my code is Border Bananas Free. So if you want to use that, go right ahead. And then I heard a rumor that IKEA was discontinuing the Ektorp line. I also heard a, another rumor that it's not the Ektorp line, it's just the Low Fallet Beige Slip Cover. So, and the low phallic beige slipcover for their sofa is marked down to $50. So I grabbed one because when I bought this chair, I had the full intention of getting the couch. Last time, you guys, Odin has a little bit of a separation anxiety when I leave the house um, and havoc ensues. So uh, last time I went to minnesota to go shopping with robin and nicole he tore the arm the entire arm off my slip cover for my couch now i have a flex steel a vintage flex steel couch from the 80s that i just slip covered it's so comfortable but it's not pretty it is like the most comfortable couch i've ever sat on but it's not pretty 
So it really does need a slip cover. <laughs> but Odin ripped it apart. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just get an Ikea Ektorp couch. I picked up the cover. You can't even tell what it is really, except for that. And it's, oh, right there, Ektorp. Um, I picked that up, it was $50, with the full intention of hurrying up <laughs> and getting the Ektorp couch. We'll see how long it takes me. Oh my gosh, because life's been crazy lately. Okay, then on another Shop With Me video, I actually might have shown it a couple of times, there was a picnic basket that Goodwill was showing and selling, sorry, for $12.99. No way in heck I'm paying $12.99 for the picnic basket. But it's the picnic baskets that I collect. I use them for everything, for storing and organizing just about everything, and I love them. Well, on President's Day, that's when this haul is from, um, they had a VIP 50% off um, if you brought in your brag, bag and showed them the text that they send you. And so I did that. So I picked up the picnic basket <laughs> because it is just in perfect, absolute perfect condition. I love it. Um, I paid $6.50 for it after the 50% off. So I can't wait to put this into use. And inside, I just used this and my bag to wrap everything in and carry it. So um, I'll show you what's inside. I did buy, oh, my receipt. I did buy a little bit of um, clothing for my kids and two of the pieces were not 50% off because they were Target items. And then one of them is this, it's $1.99 and it's just a white Hanes t-shirt. So I grabbed that for my son. And then the other one is this Cat and Jack um, chambray shirt for Josie. Um, she is growing like a weed and I can't keep her in clothing. So I picked her up this, this was $3.99. So I paid full price for both of those items. And this, of course, when um, they're from Target, they are brand new, um, but they take the tags off. So you can see that the it's still styled like Target. It came right off the hanger at Target. So, got her those. Everything else was 50% off. Let's see, I picked up Michael this, um, what is it? American Eagle. He's really been liking American Eagle lately, which I kind of, I'm loving. Um, but it's like this deeper plummy color with gray short sleeve Henley. It's like brand new. So I picked that up for him. It was $4.99, so I, it was $2.50. And then also for Josie, I picked her up this, um, it's called PS, it's from Aeropostale, and it's just this nice, really warm hoodie uh, sweater with a nice big chunky buttons, and it's like in brand new condition. It does have some like fuzzies and stuff on it from, you know, just being at Goodwill probably, but it's, in excellent, excellent condition. So this was $2.99, I paid $1.50 for it. And then my Goodwill bag. <laughs> All right, now in here is some stuff. You guys, I hit the mother load for Ironstone. These were 49 cents a piece. I am going to put them in my shop. They are, I'm gonna take the tag off this one here coming off in pieces. It's all right, I could have problems. It says they are real English ironstone, Microtex, established 1657 in England, and it's a member of the Wedgwood Group by Adams. So they look like, I'm gonna get the sticker off my fingernail here, maybe. They look like this, the handle is just gorgeous. So pretty love this thing and let's see if i can get it straight up for you guys there is the um, little tag or the maker's mark there and i was able to pick up four of these the crazing is beautiful it's not like a lot of crazing it's like big beautiful like marble crazing it's really cool i don't know if you're gonna be able to pick it up on the camera but i'll try 
I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It's so pretty though. So I got four of those and I'm going to put them in my Etsy shop. There's, there's the 49 cent tag there. And there's one more in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I love the handles. They have like, what is that on the handle? It looks like a three leaf clover. So yeah, so pretty. Love those, love those, love those. Okay, iron stone in the shop. Oh, I found one very utilitarian item and I couldn't believe I found it. A whole box of Ticonderoga pencils um, for 99 cents, so I paid 50 cents for them. Can you believe that? 54, 50 cents for, for uh, 24 pencils. Score. Oh no, you guys, I forgot. There were six of these. I think I grabbed all six. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So six of those bad guys. What else do I get? It's been a couple of days, so <laughs> it's been, oh, okay. A couple of weeks ago, I found a salt and pepper shaker and it matches this gravy boat. Check it out. How pretty is this? This is ironstone, I believe, but it is from the maker Harker China Company, USA, translucent China. Now I can find every pattern under the sun for Harker China, except for this one. I'm not having any luck finding this one. I don't know what the name of this is, but it is beautiful. And I am going to put it in my Etsy shop as soon as I can learn a little more about it so I can list it properly. So I do have salt shaker too. And I am going to list that because sometimes people just break one salt and pepper shaker, you know? So I'm going to list that one as well. And then last but not least, I didn't get a ton this week, but you know, what can I do? Um, I found these, this was 99 cents. I'm gonna take the tag off it so I can read the bottom of it because I didn't, they had a whole set of this stuff too. Um, but I just bought this because I thought it was beautiful. And it is vintage Crown Minoy, Japan. And it's a little creamer. They had a bunch of the coffee cups as well and some bowls but there's the little maker mark underneath there and i can't decide if i'm going to list this or if i'm going to keep it because you guys know me and my pictures i think this is so beautiful um it just got this nice little scallop detail there and it's outlined in brown and it has the speckles in there mm. i almost picked up a whole bunch of the coffee cups too but i was like i had to reel myself in <laughs> you know keep it Keep it in budget, but I think this is so beautiful. But for sure, the coffee cups and the gravy boat are going in my Etsy shop. I think this is so beautiful. It's sweating because it was outside and it is so cold. Um, and I wanted to bring it up to room temperature, but it took a while for this video. And you can't, you don't wanna go putting it in hot water. That's not good news, that'll crack it. Um, but yeah. That is what I got. So that is what I got for this week's 59th Fun Finds Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. It's not a ton of stuff, um, but I kind of love it. And I'm excited to uh, get these things listed and hopefully make a little moolah in my Etsy shop because boy, the bills have been racking up lately, you guys. <laughs> So yeah, I'm sure y'all know how that goes, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check me out over on Instagram if you like. I have a whole playlist here on YouTube um, of my Fun Finds Friday for 2020, and then I have another playlist for 2019 with, I think there's 50 videos in that one. And then every week I do one every Friday. So if you're interested in fun find Fridays and thrift with me videos, definitely subscribe because I do them every week. And um, I also like to do DIYs vlogs. So having
having said that, I will check you all later. Bye.